Have you ever wondered what would happen if we continue to exploit our environment with no regard for its preservation? Picture a vast body of water, once the fourth largest lake in the world, the Aral Sea. Nestled in the heart of Central Asia, it straddles the borders of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Its shimmering expanse was a beacon of life and prosperity, but now it stands as a symbol of environmental mismanagement, one of the most dramatic examples of an ecological disaster in recent history. This once vibrant sea teeming with life now lies on the brink of extinction. Its decline is a stark testament to the severe consequences of unchecked human activity and environmental negligence. The Aral Sea serves as a chilling reminder of the fragility of our planet's ecosystems and the devastating impact of unsustainable water management practices. But how did such a vast body of water come to be on the brink of extinction? Let's delve into the history. The Aral Sea's decline began in the mid-20th century, a result of seemingly harmless human activities. Now picture this, the Soviet authorities, in their drive for agricultural advancement, embark on large-scale irrigation projects. They divert water from the two life-giving rivers, the Amu Darya and the Sir Darya, to support the cultivation of cotton and rice in the arid region. Sounds like a good plan, right? But here's the catch. This diversion resulted in a drastic reduction in the inflow into the Aral Sea. Imagine a giant tub gradually being emptied, the water level dropping at an alarming rate. That's what happened to the Aral Sea. Its life source, the water from the rivers, was being siphoned off for agricultural use, leaving the lake itself parched and gasping for breath. But the damage didn't stop there. The consequences of this diversion were more far-reaching than anyone could have imagined. As the water levels dropped, the Aral Sea began to change in more ways than one. Once a vast water body, the sea's surface area drastically diminished. By the 90s, it had split into two separate bodies of water, the North Aral Sea and the much larger but increasingly shallow South Aral Sea. Additionally, the sea's salinity skyrocketed. With less fresh water flowing in, the remaining water became unsuitable for many forms of aquatic life. This spelled disaster for the once thriving fishing industry, but the environmental consequences didn't stop there. The exposed seabed released salt and other minerals into the air as dust. This led to soil salinization, adversely affecting agricultural productivity in the surrounding areas. Native flora and fauna started to disappear, and the once vibrant ecosystem began to wither. The Aral Sea was now a shadow of its former self with its ecosystem in ruins and the lives of the surrounding communities in turmoil. Despite the bleak situation, efforts to restore the Aral Sea were not abandoned. International organizations and governments recognized the severity of this ecological disaster and leapt into action. They initiated projects aimed at restoring the Aral Sea's ecosystem. Teams were dispatched to the region to build dams and dikes with the goal of redirecting water back into the North Aral Sea, breathing life back into the parched land. In addition to these efforts, water-saving technologies were also introduced into the agriculture sector. These advancements aimed to reduce the strain on the area's water resources, promoting sustainable farming practices and helping to restore the balance of water inflow to the Aral Sea. This collective effort showcases humanity's resilience and determination to right the wrongs of the past. While some progress has been made, the overall situation remains critical. The story of the Aral Sea is a stark reminder of the consequences of unsustainable practices. The fight for restoration continues, underscoring the need for sustainable practices and environmental stewardship. The Aral Sea's tale is one of caution serving as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human development and environmental preservation. Its dramatic transformation from the world's fourth largest lake to a fraction of its size is a vivid example of unsustainable water management. The extensive irrigation projects, the shrinking water surface, the increase in salinity, the severe ecological consequences, the economic and social impact, all are interconnected pieces of a complex environmental puzzle. But amidst the crisis, hope persists. International organizations and governments are working together to restore the Aral Sea. These efforts, like building dams and implementing water-saving technologies, are crucial not just for the affected communities, but also as a global reminder of the consequences of unsustainable water use. The Aral Sea continues to be a symbol of environmental struggle, reminding us that our actions today will determine the state of our planet tomorrow.